These are some pretty tense moments here. All right. My first guest, of course, is the Emmy award-winning actress who plays Ray's wife on the hit show Everybody Loves Raymond. She's also the author of Motherhood and Hollywood, How to Get a Job Like Mine, which comes out in paperback next Tuesday. Please welcome Patricia Heaton. Thanks for being here. Oh, I like wow. that. You like those woo woo. Yeah, woo woo. There's a lot of people going woo. See now. You won't hear them on the show when the show airs. We digitally remove them. Yeah. Uh, anyway, for, thanks for being here. I, you, you're doing a lot of work. Like you co-hosted with Regis. I did. I co-hosted with Regis this, this morning and uh, tomorrow morning also. I, I love the man, but it's very intense to be sitting next to him. I'll tell you that about Regis. <laughs> right there. He's right there and he's like, Patricia, how are you? <laughs> yes. It's good to see you, Patricia. Plus, they gave me an assignment. What? Before I got on the show, right. they, they made me watch The Bachelor because apparently Reg loves that show. And I have never... So when you co-host the show with Reg, he makes you go and watch all the crap that he likes? <laughs> watch the show? I like it. I want to talk about it. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> He's a madman. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I had never actually uh, watched any of the reality dating shows before. I didn't right. see Joe Millionaire or The Bachelorette or any of that. So what did you think of the show? Um, a big, big cringe factor. I felt just waves of cringe coming over my body, and the hair kept standing up on my arms. And Why? What was it that made um, you... Uh... Just, um, I just felt sick for those girls. Right. Um, and uh, I just there, there was like... <sighs> One was doing the... You can hit my knee anytime. <laughs> well, she came on and she... First of all... Yes. They all sound like they were raised in the sh same shopping mall. Right, right. It doesn't matter, <laughs> doesn't matter what state they were from. Tennessee, New Jersey, Indiana. Right, right. They all talk like this. <laughs> and, and the one... She said, I have everything it takes to be a good wife. I can cook. I can clean. I sing. <laughs> Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> Isn't that an important part of being a wife, is being able to sing for your man? My husband hasn't requested that yet. He's still trying working on the sex. Yeah. He's just hoping we'll have sex. Zing! <laughs> I'll be Regis. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> Heaton's getting crazy over here. I guess your guy's no good in the sack. Um, but then, then there was this other gal who was wearing a... Um, uh, like a lace, uh, laced up, well, it wasn't laced up, that was the problem. Well, maybe it wasn't a problem. For a restraining Mr. device, right. With the, everything was coming out, and she, she says to, to uh, the Firestone guy. The, the bachelor. The bachelor. Uh, um, you know, I know everything is based on first appearances and how we look, but I hope if I get through this that we could get to a deeper level. <laughs> <laughs> she was just, I don't know, it just... <laughs> Clearly, America disagrees with you. I, I guess so. Everyone I mean, here is like, oh, this sounds yeah. great. And then he goes... <laughs> What's wrong with Patricia Heaton? <laughs> You're describing the, the acme, the very best of television. But, and then he goes, the, the, the host, the, the sort of smarmy host says to him, so, Andrew, how did you feel after meeting all these women? And he said, I just can't believe it. But in a room full of 25 women, I connected with every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> and I just stood, I stood above the guy that's like, come on, come on. <laughs> It's, so, you know I what? It sounds like you shouldn't watch a lot of American television because no, it's all I, going down the drain. There's reality TV that I like, though. I like Cops. That's one of my favorite shows. They had right. one. They, had one on they the have shirtless drunk men being <laughs> arrested. Oh, my gosh. They had one where uh, the cop dressed up like the worst-looking prostitute you could find. And the guys were lining up, up and down the street. To get, and they, and they had, he had like a full handlebar mustache. <laughs> what do you want, sailor? No, she, she had like track marks. Oh my god! And uh, they would, they had a camera in the hotel room, and oh, wow. oh, it's just this great thing. Of, I guess some people want to see who gets the rose. I like to see the guy walk through the door, take down his pants, and get the cops come out. You know. <laughs>
That's TV. That's that's the TV America should be Perfect. watching. I love the car chase uh, television. Anything that has a real life car chase, yes. I love because these guys, there's no hope for them. Right. They're, they're being followed by nine helicopters, and they all think if I can just get to that next exit, I can lose them. And they're always in like a little Pinto that's doing about 40 miles an hour. I think I lost them. There's nine spotlights on you. You're not going anywhere. And their tires get shot out, and they're still driving. And then they get out, and there's 40 cops around, and they start to run. That's my favorite part. They're like, well, the car with the engine didn't work. My feet will get me out of this jam. Yeah. Well, that and Animal Precinct is a lot of fun, too. You like Animal Precinct? Animal Precinct. I'm going to change the whole format of the show to we just critique other television. Because there's a lot of fine TV. Uh, okay. Let me talk to you. You're very honest in your book uh -huh. about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You're very honest, uh, more honest, I think, than any other celebrity about the reality of plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. You say you've had plastic surgery, mm -hmm. no big deal, mm -hmm. and you come out and you say it, whereas right. a lot of people say, oh, not me, not me. Right. Uh, what was your experience with Botox? Because I hear a lot about Botox, I don't really understand it. Well, it, it's, it's botulism. It paralyzes the muscles. And they Sounds great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you inject that into my eye, please? So I'm more pleasing to the ladies. What does that mean? Well, they, you know, it's used medically for a lot of good things, like right. people with cerebral palsy and whatever. Right, right. But um, for us who are challenged in other ways, we shoot it into our head. Um, so you had it injected into your well, head? Well, some people use it up here so that they don't have those wrinkles in their forehead. But as an actor, it, it, it's useful to be able to express your emotions in <laughs> your face. Yeah, yeah. It helps, so I don't like to freeze that. Right. But I did have a little put in my chin. Okay. A lot what, of now, why do. your chin? Why would, do well, people have worked on their chin? Well, because people on talk shows who are talk show hosts, newscasters, and actors use this muscle a lot. And it can start pulling. The muscle gets really pulled and it starts dimpling in here. Really? So you're mm -hmm. saying Actually, that it's a, you look good. it's a matter of time before this uh, is shot to hell, yes. this area right here. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, that's yeah. incredible. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I could get Botox injected into my, my yes. fat Irish head and yeah. it would <laughs> make it fatter and it just wouldn't move as much. What a wonderful... I know. Well, we have nothing much to do in L.A. except, uh, you know, colonics and Botox. Colonics? So, colonics. <laughs> I didn't mention colonics, but now that you've brought it up, why do people do that? I've never understood that. They hang you upside down and shoot a fire hose in your butt. Is that what basically what happens? Uh, I, I've come to learn that it's very important to keep your colon clean. This, uh, it's good that we're not talking about this in the morning, is it? I can't wait till you bring this up with Regis. Do me a favor. Tomorrow, I want you to bring this up with Regis. Regis, I've always found it's good to have a clean colon. What the hell is he talking about? I'm actually this is Midwest girl from Cleveland who was very like beer and steak and everything. And when right. I got out to LA, things just changed. I right, don't know. right. Because out there it's a different world. But you still, I mean, every guy loves a, a, a woman who loves to eat. That's the thing. I think that's true. Yeah. I, I love a woman who likes to chow down on a yes. big steak at the yeah. Outback Steakhouse. Check it out, Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> with, uh... I get curly fries every time I mention them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My agent says I probably could have gotten a better deal, and I'm like, better than curly fries, dude? I, I was wondering why I had those in my gift basket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take they them. Great. They're good. They're relatively new. <laughs> right. Well, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond airs Monday nights at 9 That's on CBS. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the book Motherhood and uh, Hollywood comes out in paperback next Tuesday. Tuesday, a great Mother's Day gift. And, nice. Yes. Nice plug. Yeah, thank you. And I got to say, I, I completely understand why, why you're co-hosting uh, with Rita. You're, just, you're a lot of fun oh, to talk to, so, so nice. please come oh, back. Yeah, you. great to have thanks you here. So Patricia much. Heaton. Uh, now, I think we should check back. Take a moment here, because it can't all be fun and games, Patricia. I think we should uh, just take a second here and, and check back in oh. with our stair climber, John Henderson. Into thin air. Yeah, how is it going on those stairs, John? This is not really a good time right now, Conan. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I'm okay! That was some pretty dramatic footage there, ladies and gentlemen. Three stairs. All right, Patton Oswalt's coming up. We'll be right back. Stick around. Let's see. Fine show tonight. We got a great show coming up tomorrow night from the brand new movie A Man Apart 
Vin Diesel is going to be on the show. Yes. You can watch it on television. Never ceases to amaze me. The studio audience is always like, how will we see it? On TV. It's on TV now. Used to be a radio show. Uh, actress Shannon Doherty is going to be here. And Comedian Leo Allen, so watch that show. I, what's their problem?